Hello traders, welcome back to my channel. Today I will explain how we can analyze each and every candlestick in a ranging market. So this is a ranging market situation here. So first of all, how we know that range already started. If we see previous market condition was trendy market, but suddenly market trying to create same high or same low. That means this is the highest point and this is the lowest point. Market failed to create here a higher high. So that's why this is the same high. That means already we can think that, okay, already range, ranging situation already started. Okay, after that market create buyers, sellers, buyers, sellers type situation. So this is bearish candlestick after, after one candlestick, buyers again enter. Again, sellers enter, again, buyers enter. So when buyers, sellers, buyers, sellers type situation happen, that is the sign of a ranging market. And when market failed to create higher high or lower low, so that is a sign of a ranging market. So when market create any ranging type situation, so that time support and resistance or SNR level will work very perfectly. So that means buyers when came to any sellers area, sellers enter in the market and sellers when came back to any buyers area buyers will enter in the market so how uh, now i am explaining a step by step so when market came back to this area sellers enter in the market so again buyers again sellers so when these sellers uh, came back to that buyers area that means that from that support area when market came back to the support area so more possibility buyers will enter so now this is this candlestick kind of exactly close at the support level that's where buyers entered so this is a candle. This is very weak candlestick by the buyer side, but this is a spinning top candlestick. So this candlestick exactly at the support level, it will continue the market to the same direction. So now our next resistance level here. <clears throat> so we can think that, okay, market may continue at least here to here because there was another resistance level here also. So, and below, from the from this below point this is the first resistance and then another resistance here so now we can think that market may continue here to here so market continue here to here so there is a rules we already know a rules that this is a losing momentum rules so first candlestick got rejected from this resistance level second candlestick tried to break this level but it failed it closed below this re rejection point and this candlestick also close below this re re rejection point. And this candlestick closing price is very near to this resistance level. That's why sellers entered in the market. Okay. So when sellers enter in the market, they are not so strong sellers here. So that's why next candlestick again go up. So when next candlestick again go up, it exactly close at this previous resistance level. But it try to break this level. If really broke this level, the market will continue to next resistance level but it failed to break this level so now that's why next candle again fall down so what happened here in this case so market create two candlestick here so two candlestick here this candlestick exactly close in a hidden level so that is the gap up level here that is our hidden level of the market so this is the gap up level so gap up level also a hidden level of the market and most of the hidden level will work at the ranging market. So this candlestick, this inverted hammer candlestick exactly close at this ranging market. This candlestick is a very weak candlestick and this candlestick will act as a continuation sign in a strong trendy market in a momentum situation. But in this type of ranging market, this candlestick will act as a reversal sign. When this candlestick close at exactly at the support level, it, it can reverse the market very easily. Okay. So now reversal happened here. Buyers entered in the market and it's exactly close at the resistance level, same resistance level. So now why next candle go up? There is a rules here. We already know that if market want to break any level, it can break by following two rules. One is market little jump down, it became more powerful and it broke the level and go up or market may skip this level by jumping up or creating gap up situation. Here market jump up and totally skip this resistance level. So when it jump up and totally skip this resistance level, now this level, this resistance level will act as a support here now because market 
is now above level is below that's why this level will act as a support level and it got this candlestick got rejected from this support level so it was previous resistance level now it will act as a support level from the support level and market goes up so now what happened here basically this this was resistance level so this resistance level breakout happened by this strong candlestick so we already know if market break any level market may create two situations one is market may retest that level and go up directly or market may create here a retracement candlestick so market created here a retracement candlestick and it again came back to this previous uh, resistance level so now it will act as a support so that's why buyers again enter from the support level this bullish uh, inverted hammer type candlestick exactly at the support level it will continue the market so market will go up so what happened here now so market after these two candlestick market fall down from this area here again so when it came back to the support level buyers again enter and it already closed at the support level so already uh, first time buyers enter so second time again buyers came back to that area so now we can again place short trade here to the upward direction market go up so now there is a resistance level here there is another resistance level here so when we got two points we can draw a resistance level here this one so when market create this resist when market create this resistance level two points after this type of candlestick we can again place our trade in this candlestick at the resistance level to the downward direction so by this time what happened breakout happened when this candlestick broke this level so now this level will act as a resistance level that's why next candlestick again fall down so when this candlestick again came back to that area previously it was gap up level or it was resistance level now it will act as a support from that support level buyers again enter in the market so now after came back to this that after uh creating this candlestick why market will not go up why market again trying to fall down because there is a logic here there is a logic here the logic is when market came to any extreme seller entry point area or extreme buyer entry point area so market may create this type of situation what type of situation if i draw a level here so why it's the extreme buyer centi uh, why it's the extreme seller centi point area now first i'm explaining this point so if we see this is the first point from that point market got rejected fall down got rejected fall down breakout happened fall down breakout happened fall down exactly close here fall down now how many times market reversed from this seller's entry point area one two three four five times so when already five times market reversed from the same area same level so that is a very very strong area by the seller side so when market create that type of situation definitely we have to think that any types of situation may happen here after breakout sellers may enter in the market very strongly and momentum may start from here also because that is a very strong area by the seller set from that area this type of situation may happen very aggressive situation here also so that's why we don't have any opportunity now in this area to go with the buyers after this breakout because this is a extreme seller entry point area sellers may enter in the market very aggressively and very strongly so that's why we have to avoid trading in this type of situation okay when this candlestick exactly came back to this area again this resistance level or uh, pre this is snr level now resistance breakout support so it's the snr level so now after came back to this snr level now market reversing here so when market below this extreme seller's entry point area so that support will work again why because most of the time that support or snr level will perfectly work in a ranging market but we have to avoid only the extreme support point and extreme resistance point we can easily draw snr and we can easily trade by drawing snr level so in this situation so now after closing of this candlestick we have opportunity here also we can easily place a trade because this candlestick exactly close here to the uh above the support level 
So that's why we can easily trade below the support point here to the upward direction from this SNR level to the upward direction. So by this way, we can analyze each and every candlestick in the chart and we can easily place our trade. It's very easy to analyze each and every candlestick in the ranging market without volume and with volume. This is the explanation without volume today. So I will try to explain more how we can analyze in a ranging market with volume also. So uh, first of all, we have to know each and everything very deeply. Then only it's very easy to make money from the market. Uh, otherwise, it's not possible. So if anybody want to learn price action, BSA, CWRV, each and every candlestick analyze with volume, without volume. So contact me by telegram at the rest and our own WhatsApp plus eight eight zero one seven four one double seven eight ten eight six. So thanks for watching my videos.